hi you guys I'm glad to see that you're there again um, I'm going to try this here little video I've been doing videos for a while I've done five or six I guess and um, five or six of them I've done and some of them I've done them like right here like this on my computer this is my computer I'm looking at myself right there and um and 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 some of them I did on my telephone and some of them did on my camera but <sighs> I'm just not having good luck, like, like my camera. This is a pretty nice camera. It's red. I like red. Red's a pretty color. But for some reason, you know, I put this camera up like up on a little tripod and it, the screen's on the back here, so I can't see what I'm doing. Now, see, here on the computer, I can see what I'm doing. If I, I can see if I'm making a fool of myself and I can change things. Well, well, hopefully, hopefully. So I ain't using that camera. That camera's getting on my nerves. And um, so I'm just using this. I would be using my telephone maybe. Well, maybe not. But my husband has my telephone right now because he went out to um, catch some Pokemons. And I need to get some Pokemons on my um, my Pokemon game because me and my husband, my husband, we're, um, we like Pokemon in it. So... See, there's my bracelet right there. That's my Pokeball right bracelet right there. I wear that for good luck on Pokeball hunting. And um, so he's got my phone because him and our daughter, they went out to the Hudson Beach where there's poke stops. Okay, that's all. I'm not going to go on about that. I'm showing you, though, a life in the day. No, a day in the life of Scrap and Lizzie. That's me. I'm proud to say my name's Scrap and Lizzie, and um, I have some videos on my on my um, Scrap and Lizzie Facebook site, and then I also have some over there on the YouTube. I'm trying to learn that YouTube thing, but that's a little tough. It's been getting a little tough. You know, I'm getting old. I just had a birthday a couple days ago. I turned 67 years old. That's older than I was last year. Last year I was only 66. I mean, a couple days ago I was only 66, and now I'm 67. That's getting pretty old. Okay, so anyway, I will show you what I'm doing. I like this junk journaling stuff. I've been learning about junk journals. I've been learning about um, journals for no reason. That's right up my alley. I really do like journals where you, they're nice, you know. I like nice journals too. I've made lots of nice journals, you know. And I've made photo albums in where you got to measure everything to the 32nd of an inch, you know. Make sure it fits perfect on there. And you use this real high dollar tape and the highest dollar glue. And the highest dollar tools, well, I don't have all that stuff because I'm not a high dollar kind of person. <laughs> My dad once told me, he said, either you're born rich or you're rich born beautiful. You can't have them both. Well, look at this. <laughs> you know I am rich. <laughs> Anyhow, I want to show you what I'm doing. This time of year is one... I just heard my dog said talk. This year, this... That's my dogs. I got four dogs in this room. are notorious for barking at anything. Anything. So they bark. So if you hear them barking, don't worry. They're probably barking at their brother. Uh, my son. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that's what it was. He's barking at my son. He was coming in. Now, this is what... We're, this time of year, we get all of these here... Um, catalogs in the mail. They're, you know, we might call it junk mail, but it's treasures, really. So, what I'm doing here is, I'm gluing some pages together to make this a hefty, hefty piece of something. So, now, here, first I glued together about, um, hmm, seven or eight pages for the cover. I want that to be a little heavier. And then each page, I'm gluing them together, like four or five, not quite as many, you know. And so, um, and I, all I'm using here is some, some Mod Podge. And what I do is I just Mod Podge that page, like just paint that glue on there like this, you know. There's no rhyme or reason. You just put it on there. And then, um, and then you just, you just keep, then you turn the page. You turn a page and you get another page. And you go ahead, see, I can't afford to order anything out of this here catalog, so 
but they send me the catalog anyway, and it's for free, so, you know, you hate to throw their, their hard work into the rubbish receptacle, so I just kind of just pour it, you know, I just use it for stuff. And so, see, there I go. Now, that should be enough for that page. So now I'm going to leave that one. I'm not going to glue that one. So I'm just going to go back here and I'm going to, I'm going to glue this one. Put glue, well, Mod Podge, that's what I'm using. Mod Podge is good glue for this. And um, I understand there's a, there's a way you can make your own Mod Podge. I have to look into that, see if I can find that recipe. Because I think that would be fun to make my own, as much as I use, you know. I could buy stock in Mod Podge, then maybe I would be rich. So I'm going ahead and I'm just putting some more of this, this glue right on here while I have it going. But, um, yeah, this is what I'm doing. Now, I'm not going to go through this whole year, year magazine because there's something else I want to show you, too. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do that one. Okay, so that's another page. So now I have... Got the cover, one page, two, I'll probably, I need to make that one more page to make it a page to make sure it's like thick. Like the page, the page has to be heavy enough to hold up for the millions of people that will be looking at this here, this here book when it's done. We never know. And, and, um. Okay, so let me just go ahead and glue that one over there. Yeah, whoops, see? Now, they might turn out kind of wrinkled. Well, not, not to worry about that. Okay, I got the cover, page one, page two. All right, now, I'm going to finish that later right there. God, that chocolate looks good. But anyway, I'm going to put that over here. I'm going to show you this one. Now, here, I did a video on when I started working on this one. This was a magazine as well. This was a magazine. I glued that it all, all together. I think it was a diabetic magazine. <laughs> Who reads them things? Okay, and so I, I glued pages together, and then I kind of decorated the front here. We stuck some stuff on there and painted it, and you know, did this and that and the other. And then, then the pages. E I went through each of the pages. Let me pull them out of there. I went through each one of the pages first. That's what I first did, and I just painted them all different colors. As you can see, they're each got a different background color. See, that's green, and this one's blue, and then that one's red, and then this one's brown, and then this one's orange. But see, each one of them painted, page, glued together pages. I painted them a different color, so this ends up having about eight pages of the book, and then the back cover. That's that's a book. That's pretty. That was a magazine. Now it's a book. But then I went through and I and I um started adding oh paraphernalia I don't know just stuff making little pocket making just gluing on this is a something I colored I glued that on there and I did some you know I looked like that mixed media art and so I do some of that stuff too I just well I pretend that's why they call them starving artists because that's what I am. Uh, starving, or, well, I'm not starving as you can tell, but anyway. And then here, see, that's some of my coloring. This was one of my coloring pages, so I really do like to color. And so then I colored that, and I cut it out, and I glued it right on there. And then, and then, see, then I wrote in white, I said, this is my happy book. It is not meant to be anything special, just things I do to be happy. I love being happy. Love ma Life makes me happy. There's some, a lady on, um, I've watched some of her video YouTube things, and she does um, journals for no reason. And that lady, she's smart. She's a smart lady. And um, I love watching her. She's hysterical. Uh, she's hysterical. I just love her. She just is good. And so, but anyhow. And then I wrote here, things that make me happy. And I wrote a list because I have got like sewing and caustic wax, wa wax watching babies play, my children, doggies, naps, ice cream. <laughs> ice cream makes me happy. And, Pokemon, because I got that game in my skin. Coloring, people watching, happy people, paper glue and scissors, washed dishes makes me happy, especially when somebody else did it. 
Yeah, music and art and kisses and hugs and coffee and great-grandchildren, grandchildren, children, chickens. My chickens make me happy. I love them. And and, and crafting. And, you know, I just write stuff down. And I might think of some more stuff to write around here and just fill it all up with it. And then here is another picture I colored. That's a little doggy. And then I glued that little card on there. And this is a big doily. I just glued that there. And just every picture tells a story. And I'm sure there's a distraught dog. He looks a little bit sad. Maybe his mama went to work and he just doesn't want to be alone. You know, every picture tells a story. And so, um, and, and, and especially if you're looking at this book with a child and you ask the child, why is that little doggy all sad? That little child probably knows why because children are smart like that. Anyway, see here, then I started working on the red page and I got a happy, have a happy day. I got some stuff glued in there. You know, there's some stickers on there and some, yeah, and stickers aren't sticking too good, but that's okay. Maybe I'll Mod Podge over them and then they'll stick just fine. See, sometimes if something doesn't work, you know, you know, tape or WD, WD-40, duct tape WD-40. That's the mechanics tools what they use if something doesn't work right. We just use Mod Podge. Okay, and then I made this here flare and um, I was just playing with that flare. And, well, and it turned out kind of goofy. But then, so what I did is I just glued it on one of my pages. I don't want to throw garbage. Jeez, no. And so then I have an orange page. I'll do something with that. And then a great... Well, anyway, you've seen them. And so I'll do more with this book. This one, it's just always ongoing. I got this short attention span. And so I start one thing and then I have to flip to another. Let me show you something else. I think I sh kind of showed part of this journal in different in a different um, video, one of my movies, <laughs> Hollywood movies. But anyway, this is my journal for no reason. This is where the first one I started after I watched Sharon Green. Did I say? No, Shannon. Shannon Green. Look her up. She's, the, she's intelligent. Yeah, you'll like her. Anyway, and I like her. But anyway, I had these pieces of, like, and I still think I have one more piece. Yeah, I got one more piece. It's just like like some kind of poster, but something's been spilt on that one. But that's okay, I'll use that. Man, that means I got one more page to go. But I had a bunch of pieces of that a lightweight um, chipboard, and it was all cut the same size. And so I thought, well, that's what I'll use for my journal for a reason. So I always just kept one little piece right here. And now if I was working on like an album or something, and then you got all them little scraps and whatnot, well, then take them scraps, you know, and when you're done, throw them in the trash. No, that's wrong. That is just wrong. There's nothing right with that. So you just glue them on something. And you make another page. So if you look through this book, there's nothing that makes any kind of sense in it. See, I've put, um, I've put all kind of different stuff in there. Each page has got different stuff. And I got scraps of paper. I got little washi tape. It's just a little bitty envelope with a little bitty note, and it says woohoo on there. Woohoo! Woohoo! It says on there. I mean, it's cute. And I don't know, that's from some junk mail, you know. You just send me that for free, junk mail. And um, and so here, this one here's got a little envelope. Oh, this one here, I, it's got an envelope, but I made it as like a little envelope. Well, it is an envelope. But then I put all these little extras inside there, so it's like a stuffed envelope. You know, just for something fun. There's a tag. There's a big old tag in there. Well, it might be Luke. No, it's not. It's not. It's just in there. Just put it in there. You can just stuff. Even here's a smaller envelope. I put a little small envelope in there. See, just put that in there. And inside that envelope, there's a little card in there. I won't pull that out right now because I tend to get a little windy. Yeah, that could fit right there. Oh, butterfly, butterfly. But butterfly, I do like butterflies. And, and so here, and as you go through this album, you will see, it's just in this here, that was my drinks I used. I just kept the box because I made a pocket out of it. There's a little guy that sits in that pocket. He's cute. I need to give him a hat or something, shade his eyes from the sun. Is that light? Good. I don't have right light. You know, real video agrafina people, they have their the lighting is right. I, look, there's a light right there. It's my pool. And there's, you know what, that's that uh, umbrella man, um, Mr., what's his name, Tim Holtz. 
that's one of his dyes right there. He's, and I bet that's my favorite thing. I've put that on so many things, even if it doesn't belong. I, if it doesn't go, I still put him on there. And um, I just did a swap with, with a lady, my new lady friend, that um, we swapped the recipes, you know, and, uh, and I made a little box for the recipes to go in. And so it was all fall themed, but on the back of the box, I put the umbrella man because he was going to stalk her. <laughs> okay, yeah, she probably wondered why is that umbrella man on the back of my recipe box. But anyhow, here we go. This Now see here, these were stick. there were stickers on this. When you take the stickers off, then you've got left this, the border, and it's like a big sticker. So I stuck that on that piece of black paper there, and um, and then it's like chalkboards, like little chalkboards. And so I used my white pen and I just wrote little things like help each other, know you are loved, think of others before yourself, be thankful, do your best, share, laugh out loud, use kind words and say I love you. That's what I did with that rather than to throw that away. It made a nice pitch. And here, oh, oh. This was my losing ticket. I once had a winning ticket. It was worth 50 bucks, and I spent it. Well, I haven't spent it all yet, because i got to pay for my Avon order with my winnings. It was $50. My, well, my Avon order is only $20, but I split it with my husband, so I only got 25 out of the 50 Anyway, well, he did buy the ticket. He spent the dollar. <laughs> but anyway, so there you go. Now, here was another catalog. Oh, yeah, my Avon order is my red slippers. I got me and my husband a pair of red slippers because we're going to be thing one and thing two for Halloween. <laughs> I crocheted our wigs. You wait till you see them. I'll, I'll make a little video of that. Okay, now here's, um, yeah, this was a catalog that come in the mail yesterday or the day before. It was, um, I think it was yesterday. Yeah, maybe it was the day before, but it was selling some high dollar Christmas decorations and I thought, whoa. I'd like to have some of them things. They're so pretty. So I clipped them right out and glued them in there, and now I got them forever. Yeah. And so there was some more of those in this page. I like that page. Yeah, that's, I think that one's pretty doggone groovy. That one, you know, there's pretty things on that page. But each one comes up different. Excuse my nose. I got that. I don't know. I got a cold or something. And so here, um, here's um, another page. But on this page, I glued all those little pieces together. Then I outlined the pieces with, with like a Sharpie marker. I just went and outlined. And then I did some stenciling on there. And then I think I Mod Podged the whole thing. And then I took, this is the magic of life. Magic of stamps. I used this stamp that I got from the Stampin' Up! some hundred years ago. I don't think I got it from Stampin' Up! I think I got it from the yard sale. But it was made by Stampin' Up! But it, all it is is crackles. So I took that stamp and I crackled. I stamped over this page and it makes it crackly looking and then it looks old. But yeah, that was a Stampin' Up! stamp and I, I use that a lot because of, I like that old look. This again was some waste from some little cutouts that was in a paper pack or something. Put them on there. And, and this here and these two things, those is um, paint chip things you can get over from the Walmart. If you're going to paint your house or you think you want, you want to paint it orange, well then you'd pick up a couple of these paint chips to see which color orange you want to paint your house, you know, so then after you decide, then you got them left over to, um, to, um, use for art, you know. Don't just go in there and take a handful of them and call them yours. That's close to stealing, I think. I didn't really do that. <laughs> Neither did my husband. But I needed a lot of them to figure out what color I wanted to paint my house. Haven't painted my house yet, but I got them paint chips nonetheless. Here we go, another page, another page, see how pretty? This was, this was just a, like, tag. But anyway, here, you know, I just, each page is, is, is different. And so, okay, that, I will get nuts with this because, well, I am nuts. But that, look how thick that is. Isn't that beautiful? And it, that's journal for no reason. No reason whatsoever except to make you happy. And it does. It makes me happy showing this to you. Hope it makes you happy looking at it. Then, oh, then, let me tell you what. Just a minute. Just a minute. I'm getting something.
still get some. Okay, this here, I, I put this paintbrush in the water, and I got to put my lid on my mop-up. Knowing me, I'd spill it right over and all everything. Okay, now, if you've got old file folders, which I got a bunch of file folders. I used to stick everything in file folders, and, um, and so I got a lot. You know, for a while, I was like a little preschool teacher, and I had everything in file folders, and then... That was like a hundred years ago, and then, but I was really a stay-at-home mom most of the time. But um, but then after, after later, after my kids got grown and stuff, then I went to work as activity director over at a retirement village, and um, that was my favorite job. I loved that. I worked with dementia and, and Alzheimer's, and God, I love them people. I just loved them. I loved them. I loved them, and I would do stuff. But I made. You know, my plans I had, so I used a lot of file folders, so I don't need them anymore. So, um, I'm using them for art. So, I know. I've glued them together. I glued them together, and, um, I, I put, I make them into pages. This is my never-ending. Now, you see how that's a file folder? And so you like this, and you turn a page, and you turn a page. And you turn a page, 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 and you turn a page. Do you get that? Never ending. You just keep turning the pages. They just keep turning. And um, it's just all in the magic of glue. Okay. This one here is one that I've, I've done quite a bit of work on this one. Now see, this one here. This one here is getting thick, but you see how nice it is? It's getting thick because I've got a lot of stuff in it. And so, but you see, I just keep turning these pages. I got another video about this one here. I think it shows a little bit more in detail about what I do. And, um, and, and see, you just keep turning, and then you just keep turning the pages. And there you are. So there's a waterfall. And then here you go. I got either this and that and everything in there. And um, you just keep turning the pages. And here I got this flip flop back flippity flip 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 flop flop flip 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 flip. It all just opens up. You can cut out all kind of pictures on memorabilia or something in there. I just love these things. And I don't know where I learned how to do that. I haven't got a clue. I learned somewhere. I'm sure I didn't come up with that on myself. And then here we go, and then, oh, on right there on the front. This is the front, and this is the front. This is the front, and this is the front. And so, don't let that confuse you. This is the front, and this is the front. Okay. Just keep that in mind. And, um, so then here, here, see, this one, I just got that one glued together. See, there's a pocket in each page. It's got a big pocket. You see? Pocket. So depending on how many, it, depending on how many um, file folders you make is how many pages and how many pockets. There's pockets on that side. Oh, so, and, and what I did um, on this one, in case I didn't, in case you didn't see my other video. In this pocket, I'm going to put them in all these pockets, but I, I don't finish one thing and then start another thing. I, I get, I'd be working on something, then I get an idea, and then I stop working on the something, and I work on the new idea. So I have like about 117 things going all at the same time. And that's okay. It's all right with me. It makes me happy. Now, see, that's what Shannon Green, she always is saying. It makes me happy. And so I like being happy. Now this here, see, this is wallpaper samples. You know, you don't have to have all that high dollar stuff. Go over to the hardware store, wherever they sell wallpaper, and ask them if they've got any discontinued wallpaper sample books. And usually they'll just give them to you free. Otherwise, they got throw them in the garbage. And so now here, see, each one of those pockets is going to have a journal in it. Now this is a one signature journal. It's all um, stitched together with waxed linen cord. I just stitch them together. And simple as that. And, and I just put, you know, I, I've been buying paper for like a hundred years. So um, a lot of the papers that I bought like all them years ago, I, I still have a lot of that stuff. And I don't really use it. It's not a great, I just haven't used it. And so I use that and I put that into the, the journal. And now this journal, 
that I'm making here is going to have one of them books in every one of them there pages in every one of them pockets is going to have one of them there books to write on so you can write a lot of journaling your secrets and some kind you know put post notes in there newspaper clippings I don't know pictures napkins recipes anything but um and see like I say here's another one I got going now this one all I've done is glued together the pages oh this one here yeah oh yeah this one I've uh, got the got the file folders together. Now this one's more accurate and more measured better because it's like my fifth one. And so see here I've got um this one. Like this turn page and, and then each one has a pocket. Pocket and pocket and pocket. So each page has got a pocket. And then when you get to the end, you start trying. i got to put one more file folder on here because I forgot that I needed one more to make it work right. And so, but then I, I've got all of these. I put black and white paper on them. It makes them kind of a little bit like I was trying to use my brain. You know, a little bit of the left side. I'm usually using just the right side of my brain. But this time I use the left side. Oh, and, and let me show you one more thing. I want to keep you. I know it's probably dinner time. But I do want to show you this one. This here, this this here one, this is file folders as well. But um, I cut this one, cut the file folders down so they're not big this way. I cut part of the big off. And so, and then I got a lot of stuff going on on the front of this one because I did, I uh, painted it, I sprayed it, I got um, crystal accents on there. And then I made these, these little um, doohickeys. They're embellishments. I make them out of just little pieces of chipboard. You know, if you're cutting stuff and then you got these little squares of chipboard left over, you know, if you throw them away, that's wasteful. I mean, there's people in Ethiopia that would die for them. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, <coughs> Excuse me. And, um. And so, but anyhow, I make these little, just one minute, hang up. I got this pretty box. My husband, he goes to the tobacco store because he dips that tobacco in his mouth because he's old country boy. And But then he finds these boxes for me. They're cigar boxes and they sell them like really cheap, like two bucks, you know, for a box. And they're wooden, they're nice, but you know, here's some of those, um, See, I take and I, you can see they're three-dimensional, four-dimensional, I don't know dimensions, I don't know. You know, they say some things are two-dimensional, some three-dimensional, and four-dimensional. I don't understand that stuff, I just know they're dimensional. And so, but, you know, one day I just got, I just made a whole bunch of these. I just made a whole bunch, and I like to put them on the fronts of, on the fronts of um, albums and, and stuff like that. They're kind of... They're, they're, they're vintage looking, and that's got a broken key in it. I got that all covered up with that. You know that crystal accent stuff? Diamond glaze? I don't know what it is. It's one of them things that goes on thick and dries clear. And it kind of embeds that stuff in there. And so, yeah, I put that on there. And, um, and I use, like, this is like a piece of broken jewelry. That, a piece of, just a, some paper. Look how close I can get that where you can still see it. Yeah, I don't know. Is that still clear? I don't know. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, I've been going 28, 29 minutes. Okay, I'm going to close this up because I know that um, you guys don't want to watch all this. But anyhow, that's what this is. This is the book. And this, was, and this one's more closer to done. And in here, each one of these openings has got like a, um, like this kind of a page just flippy flappy everything you know then I used this part this was the part of the file folder I cut off and covered it up with some paper and and yeah that's it okay that's all I'm, I'm not going to keep you any longer because I know you're probably needing to go to dinner or whatever it is that you do besides me well, I gotta cut these bangs you're getting a little long again okay I just want to say that um 
that I love you and thank you for watching my video and God bless you and I will see you again on the flip side on the flip side and now I'm going to go right up here with my mouse and I'm gonna click the thing where it says done oh stop it says stop right there okay okay love you guys bye